the MPP, they treat the people of this country as if we are idiots. But I've been saying that the good people of this country are more clever, more matured, more discerning than they, than they think. Because unless you say that uh, somebody has sawdust in his head, you come and tell me that it's one village, one dam. And then when I'm now demanding my dam, you come and tell me the topography of my place is said that it's impossible to dig a dam. Which topography is impossible to dig a dam? When you were making the promise, did you take my topography into consideration? Did they know that there were, there were topographies in certain parts of this country that would not warrant the digging of dams? Did they know? And if they knew, did they make any exceptions to those areas where their topography would not allow? It, it, it's, it's an insult. And I'm saying that it's, a, it's an euphemism for running away from the promise they made. Because they told Ghanaians that one village, one dam. And in fact, it was amplified by Dr. Baumia, the current vice president, when he said that every single village in the north of this country will be given a dam so that during the dry season, they could use it for farming. The record is there for all of you to play out. So today, look, they even, you can't get even 20 villages even to one dam. I am just I indicating to you, if you rain, if you rain, won't you see it in the sky? Today we come, the sun is shining brightly, and somebody tells you that it's going to rain. Will you believe it? Because if it's going to rain, there must be cloud. It is cloud that produces rain. There's no cloud, and you are expecting rain. Is, is it not this? This government is in its third year. We are, we are just getting to the end, end of the year. So I'm sure that the dams, if they want to build them, they must build them now. Because if you are not seeing the dams, if you are not seeing the dams now, how are you going to see the dams anywhere closer?